So uh, today there is a lecture on uh, circular economy and to be more precise it's on circular design. And so if you look at circular economy, uh, we think, uh, we're, I'm from the program Circo in the Netherlands, and we are a circular design program and uh, we think if you want to start circular economy, you need entrepreneurs who come with circular propositions to the market and so things they can sell to their customers and um, for circular propositions you need circular design. So you need to design the business model, you re redesign the product and you design services uh, that come with that. And so that's what I'm going to tell about. Um, well, so uh, you have a lot of uh, definitions uh, about it and uh, what is very uh, interesting is uh, if in the linear economy you make a product, you sell it and that's it. And the product is used and when it, you, you don't use it anymore you throw it away and all the materials, all the energy that are in the product are gone. In a circular economy you think, okay, I have a product, I sell it and how can I take care that the product is used for as long as possible. So a company is also involved with the product after that the product is sold or that it's going to the consumer. And you try to preserve the value of the product or the components that are in it or the material as long as possible. So it's a totally different way of looking at, uh, at products. And um, well, in, well in, in the end, uh, it's not about uh, owning the product, but it's about using the product, and that's a big difference. Okay, so you would like to know if there are only circular organizations in the future. So I think there is an incentive for companies to become circular, um, because you have very interesting business models that are in, uh, in this book, and also design strategies, and uh, I think so if you really want to innovate, you become circular as a company. And uh, I think the companies that start at the early phase with doing that, uh, they, have, uh, they can be very competitive and they can build sustainable business for themselves. So I think uh, there's a lot to win for companies to become circular. I don't know if all companies will become circular and if the whole economy will become circular in the end. Uh, well, that's very hard to, to predict and that also depends on uh, what governments are doing in their government policy. Also, uh, well, there are many, many factors uh, that uh, will uh, influence that. But I think uh, companies that uh, um, make a good anal analysis of their business and uh, start innovating in a circular way right now, they will be able to uh, be very competitive and uh, well, become the uh, companies of the future. Uh, yeah, well, it's hard for me to quote uh, Brazilian companies if you want uh, companies that are uh, doing uh, very well because, uh, well, I'm only here now for, uh, for one week. Um, well, so uh, you have the Itao, Itao bikes. So, well, that's a sharing concept, which I think is very powerful. So uh, uh, instead of owning a bike and using it only 5% of the time, uh, you have the share system. And I see people on the Itao, it's called Itao bike. I see them uh, everywhere. So I think that's a very good uh, concept and it's circular in a way. Um, but you have also very ma many uh, international companies that are working in circular ways. So for instance, you have Philips, uh, they make uh, light bulbs and uh, in Europe, they uh, don't sell the light bulbs anymore, but they offer you light as a service. So they take care that your uh, building is, uh, is lightened. So uh, I think that's a very uh, nice example. So mm -hmm. there, there are many examples, yeah. Um, yeah, well, so... Um, Another very well, we have many examples in uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, so, if for instance we have a company that is making uh, very uh, high um, uh, state-of-the-art uh, milking robots to milk cows, and uh, they are used for eight years, and then the farmer wants a new milking robot, and then they used to be uh, uh, scrapped the whole machine. And so they totally redesigned uh, the uh, milking robot. And so now after eight years, the farmer said, well, I want a new machine. I said, okay, I buy back your old machine. They totally refurbish it. So they take out the old uh, uh, components, they uh, refresh them, and then they sell the same milking machine to another country, for instance, to Thailand or to Poland, where another farmer uses it for eight years. So instead of using the machine for only eight years, it's used for uh, 16 years. And for uh, uh, Lely, who, so that's the name of the company, it's very good business because when a farmer wants to sell and uh, buy a new product, they call them, 
So that's the moment of sale. But they also make margin on selling the old product again. Uh, so it's good for the business and it's uh, good for using the materials uh, much more effectively. So an important message to uh, Brazilian business uh, man. Well, um, be open to explore the opportunities of circular economy for your company. So I think uh, there are many, uh, many, many opportunities, but not for every company. Um, but so don't think it's tree hugging and so it's a very, uh, a very soft and social thing. But look at it uh, from a business perspective. Uh, really go uh, go into it, uh, uh, apply, uh, well, for instance, a circle methodology on your business, and then probably you will find out that there are many opportunities for you as a company, and if not, then at least you have tried.